lot of biology classes out there beyond just the basic biology that you might take in high school. And if you're lucky enough to go to a school that offers biology electives, you may be wondering which biology elective should I take? So in this video, I'm gonna go over six popular biology related or biology adjacent electives that might be an opportunity for you to take at some point in your high school career. Now this video is centered around electives that will be available to mostly high school students. Once you get to college, there are dozens of different biology related fields and courses that you could take. So let me know in the comments below if you want a video focused on college level biology electives. So after I go through these six popular courses and give you a brief rundown about what is taught in each, I'm gonna give you a framework for deciding which one is right for you if you have that opportunity in your class. And if you don't have any of these classes at your school, this video could still be helpful for you in helping you decide which direction of science that you might be interested in pursuing in the future. You can always look into these fields on your own time by exploring other resources online, videos, books, related to these fields. Let's get started. One of the most popular biology electives or biology related electives is AMP or anatomy and physiology. Now, sometimes this specifically gets into human anatomy and physiology, though more commonly just generic anatomy and physiology is offered at the high school level. Now, this class can be honors or standard or whatever your school happens to call it. It just depends on what the school's offerings are and how many sections are available. Topics will often include body organization, homeostasis, histology, and then a tour of the different body systems like the skeletal system, the muscular system, cardiovascular, digestive, ex excretory, immune, nervous system, and special senses. Throughout the course, you should develop an understanding of anatomy and physiology and how they're connected. And you'll probably get an opportunity to do a lot of laboratory work, especially dissections. So if this is something that is interesting for you, you might wanna mark this down as a course you wanna take in the future. But it's not just dissections. When I taught anatomy and physiology, we would also look at microscopic specimens. We would do virtual activities, physiologic experiments, computer simulations, and other sorts of multimedia activities. Now, if dissections are something that are not for you, you may wanna ask the anatomy and physiology teacher if there are alternative opportunities like virtual dissections before you enroll in this course. Because more often than not, this is the place in high school where you will have the opportunity for the most dissections. And if that's not something that you're interested in, you may want to avoid this class. All right, next up, probably the second most popular biology related elective is AP Biology. Now I have tons of resources on this channel that go into detail about what the AP Biology course is like. Should you take AP Biology? Is it worth taking AP Biology? So be sure to explore those resources. I'll link some of the videos in the description below. But AP Biology is intended to be a college level course that prepares students for the AP Biology exam at the end of the year, which if you get a three, four or five on, you have the opportunity to use as college credit down the road. Now, not all colleges accept those scores, and there's a whole bunch of different factors that go into whether or not you would actually receive college credit for an AP Biology course, but some schools, if you get a certain score, will take your AP Biology score as a replacement for Bio 101, Bio 101 Lab, and Bio 102, Bio 102 Lab at your college. So this course is an opportunity to go in depth on all sorts of different topics in biology, all the way from the micro to the macro scale, and it's probably gonna mirror the structure of your regular biology course a lot, but it'll give you opportunities opportunities to really think critically and get deeper into a lot of the systems and processes that you learned for the first time in biology. The next popular biology elective I'm going to talk about today is biotechnology. Generally, if you're lucky enough to have this course at your school, it involves a lot of lab work and its goal is to explore the use of living organisms and biological systems to create products and solve problems. You may talk about genetic engineering or genetic transformation, cloning, medical applications, but you also might have a chance to experience different biotechnology techniques such as micropipetting, using PCR, gel electrophoresis, and all sorts of other interesting lab techniques while you're in this course. Another popular biology related elective is zoology. This one is less frequently offered at many high schools, but it is something that can be interesting to students, especially if you're interested in the structure and function and evolution of animals. Now, this course will cover behavior, evolution, physiology, but it's not just animal fact parade. You're gonna be doing a lot of other things beyond just memorizing cool facts about animals, their behavior, and often this is also another opportunity for dissections. You may go deep into topics on animals that you might not know a lot about, like the invertebrates within those arthropods and crustaceans. So it could be an opportunity to learn more about organisms that you might not have on your radar. Remember, zoology can encompass all sorts of animals, including the microscopic ones. It's not just about what you see in the zoo. All right, next up, another biology-related elective is forensics. 
So this is not the speaking forensics, this is the crime related forensics, which means this is about how we apply scientific principles to investigate crimes. Now, there's a lot of other scientific fields that go into forensics, such as physics, when we're talking about ballistics or chemistry, when we're talking about analysis of different substances, but we could be doing things such as fingerprinting and DNA fingerprinting, which is actually gel electrophoresis, studying the decomposition rate of bodies or any sort of multitude of things that might be used in a crime scene investigation. This course could be very case study focused or very laboratory focused, but it is often not for the faint of heart. So make sure you're truly interested in all topics related to criminal investigations, not just the biology stuff. And the last popular biology related elective that I'm going to talk about today is biology two or human biology. And often this class is something that you can take that's not as rigorous as AP biology, and it's not as in-depth in the anatomy area as anatomy and physiology. But if you're somebody who loves biology and just loved the course, it's an opportunity to explore topics that you might not have had a chance to get into in the regular biology class. Because often with a high school biology class, you have a state exam that goes along with it. And so you're restricted to the topics that are gonna be on the exam. In biology two or human biology class, you have the opportunity to explore things that might not be on that exam, but are still fascinating ideas within the realm of biology. So you might get more into genetics, health, evolution, disease, more exploration of classification and taxonomy, modern topics, current events in biology. It's really up to the teacher who's designing this course, but it could be a great chance to explore your love of biology if you don't want to go for the AP biology course quite yet. Some honorable mentions I'll throw up here on screen really quick include marine science or marine ecology, botany, study of plants, molecular biology, a scientific methods or advanced research course, which I have also taught and is a great opportunity to prepare you for college or other research and scientific opportunities, and biology adjacent AP chemistry. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Okay, let's talk about what's going to influence your decision for taking each of these electives. Now, I know everybody has only so many openings in their schedule and only so many offerings and times at their school. So not all of these may be available to you. But if you're a high school student thinking about what you want to take now and your choices in the future, here are some ideas that may help narrow things down for you. If you're really serious about going pre-med, my recommendation for the top biology related elective that you should choose is AP chemistry. Why? Getting your chemistry 101 credit taken care of in high school will set you down the path to dive into more advanced biology courses earlier on in your college career. It'll also provide you with a strong foundation for pursuing more advanced biological topics and provide you with the analytical skills and challenge you in a way that you might not be challenged until later on in college. So taking AP Chem in high school can be a great opportunity in a safe and supportive space to get some of those challenges out of the way before you do all your other pre-med requirements. I have more on that in my AP Bio versus AP Chem video, so be sure to check that out. I will also link it in the description below. All right, if you're interested in the human body, in nursing and exercise science and physiology, or just any generic health science, and you're not quite sure you wanna go the pre-med route, anatomy and physiology could be the course for you. Now remember, this this course will likely involve dissections, so make sure you talk to the teacher who is teaching that course to see how many and what type of dissections are going to occur, and if you feel like that's not a good fit for you, you should avoid this class. But it could be a good opportunity to explore whether or not you are comfortable doing those things in a course like this. Anatomy and physiology often relies heavily on a lot of memorization, so if you are somebody who is interested in memorizing all the parts of the skeletal system and on different muscles and joints and insertions, then anatomy and physiology could be a good choice for you. If you really just love biology and you want a course that'll keep you interesting without stressing you out too much, biology two or human biology could be the way to go. And if you want to learn more about criminal justice, analysis, and how science can apply to our lives, and if you're interested in a career in law enforcement, then forensics is probably the way to go. If you loved doing labs in your class and you were thinking about maybe pursuing a path in laboratory science as a career, biotechnology could be a great way to set yourself up with practice in some of those really good laboratory techniques and skills. So biotechnology would be a great class for you. If you loved biology and you want to challenge yourself at the high school level with a deeper dive into scientific analysis and you want the college credit, then AP Bio is the choice for you. And then finally, if you love animals, but not just the fuzzy, cute 
cute mammals, but all animals across all taxa. And you're interested in not only their behavior, but also their structures, how their bodies function and their evolutionary history, then zoology is the course for you. All right, I hope this video has been helpful in narrowing down your choices for biology related electives in high school. Again, if you want me to make one of these that focuses more on college level biology electives, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.